So we went $100 off Poshmark. It was only for listing items because they do these like list items and you may win whatever contest. I've never won. I've been on Poshmark for probably like two years and I've never won one contest. So finally, we've won a contest. We took that $100 and right now I'm gonna show you exactly what we bought with that contest money. So as you've seen, I got the full PS3 with the games, the move, the controllers, everything. I'm pretty sure it was a good come up because they go for about 170 on eBay. As soon as I got it, I put the Assassin's Creed games on eBay, immediately sold them, and then we sold the PS3 on Kijiji. So immediately we sold the stuff for about $130. We paid about six because of the contest win, and it was actually a great come up. You know, you can't, you can't be mad when you get something for free and sell it for $100. That's easy money, that's great money. So thank you Poshmark for the win. Hopefully we'll get another one. And and I would suggest that if you don't sell on Poshmark to start selling on Poshmark because you never know when you're gonna win a hundred dollars just for listing stuff and I wasn't trying to win I literally just started listing stuff you know it was just a random day and then I got a notification saying we won I found some juicy little finds. I'm gonna show you guys some of these crazy little pieces that I've come across here. We got the Rolling Stones for only $5. It's got a little 2005 date on it with that big old tongue. Team Canada with some golden leaves on the bottom. Big nice Nike check. They want 17 bucks, but it is a large slash XL. So we'll see, it has some like little Canadian leaves on the shoulders too, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna check. We got some boots of the boots. Some Supreme <laughs> Louis. You already know. The Supreme Louis. Well, want 15 bucks for that boot. With that Supreme. It's actually not a bad tag on there. <laughs> for a boot. Like, I know it's a boot. You could just see the fucking stitching through HS. And honestly, it's a pretty good boot, though. Feels good. So, 15 bucks for a boot. Probably get like 40 bucks for that. Now, this is a dumb, crazy find. We got some Palm Angels. If you know about Palm Angels, then you know this shit is fucking expensive, okay? And this is not a boot. This is the real McCoy Palm Angels tracksuit top. I wonder if the, the, the fucking uh, the bottoms are over there. I should go look just in case. I know, so right? The whole suit, mm -hmm. Palm Angels. I have a pair of shorts. They're like $250 just for the shorts, so. And, yeah. We got some Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary... Konai, Ko, Konami, I can't even pronounce it. We, with the cards in the fucking box, so that's pretty sick. And it, they only want $3.99, B. So you know for a fact, this box is probably like $50 when it was sold. We got some brats, for the fucking brats in the world, those little brat bitches out there just harassing people, annoying people, just kidding, but. You sew, cut, sew, design whatever you want to do design your own we've sold like so many brats like old like designable i don't even know this is mga entertainment i don't know what year it's from but i guarantee you it's from 2000 and something and they like never put the years on it they usually do this is in really good condition though i don't know it's definitely like a y2k era brats thing that someone just never used but we will buy that that's sick and three bucks she found this. I don't even know what this is. It's but called it's a thingamajig. <laughs> oh, oh. That's what they do. They sing. What, does it actually sing or do you just make it I sing? I think you just make it sing. One day I will fuck. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what are you swearing for, Simjig? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. We got a ham taro. Ham taro little, little bag for the chicks. This thing's actually sick. It's, it's a little cool. mini one. It's just that little mini. You can probably like strap it on your thing. You walk around like you're the queen of England who's dead. And we're, you know, I'm not just 
Bro, I have so many packages to ship right now, and I can't ship my packages because the queen is dead, and we have to mourn her. her in Canada. I'm in Canada. I don't know her last name. I don't know her son's name. I don't know shit about her, so I don't know why I'm mourning her, and I can't ship my business. It's closed. Anyways, we got some SpongeBob. Funko SpongeBob. We got this. Oh, oh me? Omi? Omi Bob. Oh, these are dumb expensive. These are like $90 with the thermos in them. Sometimes $70, $80, 90 But these are very expensive thermoses. Omni. You see these in your thrift? Don't pass it up. For $4, that's a huge, huge come up. We've got this Furby. Furby? Furry? Furby? Furby. I don't fucking know. I never fucked with these. These are more, you know, little girl things. 2005 Furby Tiger. I was looking these ones up. These are like a hundred and something dollars. They're going. They're going up. Okay, so we're not gonna leave the Palm Angels. So let's make sure we pick that up. Supreme, and I'm gonna turn the camera off and check how much this is actually rolling for because for $17, bro. Look at this crazy find already. These SpongeBob vans. We got the Patrick and the SpongeBob with the backs. These are nuts. These are nuts. One's like fabric. One's like a suede type. That's like the fabric on there, the suede there. Those are fucking crazy. They want fucking 40 bucks. If these are my size, I probably would just buy them because, oh, you got a plankton on the bottom, like you just squished them. That's Dude, so Dude, these cool. are so hard, Jesus. Too bad they're only a size seven and they want 40 bucks, so I ain't buying them. Gonna have to leave them for somebody else. We got this jelly cat. It's like a, what is this, a crocodile? Alligator? Alligator, crocodile. Interior, Interior crocodile, crocodile alligator. alligator. I drive a Chevrolet, Chevrolet movie, movie theater. theater. Ah! Jelly cat, bro. We've been selling a lot of jelly cats. Okay, we just found a Furby yesterday. We just found another Furby. And I sold. I've literally seen this sold listing for like a hundred bucks. I don't know why these are worth a hundred dollars to people, but I'm not a Furby guy, so I think its beak's a little <laughs> fucked up. You gotta fix it. Careful. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't jam in your finger in it's We mouth. got um, some guy over here actually stuffed this in the little stuffies and was trying to hide it from me. It's not happening. 2013, that wizard Mickey with the cloak just casting spells. I think they were calling him like uh, Sorcerer Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey with the little hat and the spells. It says, believe in magic. It's at Disney Parks, so you have to go to the parks to get that boy. We got the Asus Gaming... Um, what do you call these? Keyboard. Keyboards. Oh, it still has the little, the little, the little tape stuff there, whatever it's called, the protective layer. And we have us another Wii remote, and this is like a really good condition Wii remote. It really looks brand new. So I'm gonna bundle that up with another Wii system. And not too many fonts today, but not too bad either. So if you're not already cross-listing and posting on multiple platforms, you really need to start because you never know when your hand is going to be caught in that cookie jar and your sales profile is going to be done. And I'm not saying it's going to be tomorrow, the next year, or ever, but you never know what can happen, what little rules pop up, what you list by accident, you never know. So you always want to have multiple sales channels, always want to have multiple ways of making money. You never want to have your weekly money go to zero just because you're only selling on eBay or Depop or wherever the fuck you sell. Because you never know what can happen to you. Because honestly, people do fuck with you. And I was selling on Depop for a while until somebody decided to start fucking with my profile, started reporting every single thing I had. And I was like, I, I don't even know. I guess I was wrongly listing them in Depop's eyes. And they were removing a lot of my shit to the point where they just eventually just deleted my profile because I had a bunch of stuff listed that I had no clue was against their and all I was li like literally saying this is an authentic band shirt removed an authentic like I there were so many rules and reasons they started removing my shit I don't even fucking know but fuck Depop okay fuck Depop and you're gonna probably have to say something like that about one of these sales pro channels eventually like I just got scammed on I'm not even gonna talk about it we're not gonna talk about people scamming us. We're not gonna give them justification. Fuck all scammers in this world. And if you've ever been, <laughs> if you've ever been scammed by anybody, I feel your pain, honestly. And fuck scammers. Scammers can go to fucking hell. And they're gonna go to hell. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not steal, my friend. Water. 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 Water.